guys, welcome to third grade, chapter three, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Who wants three groups of four? So I'm gonna do three groups. And we're gonna put four X's in each one. There we go. So now there's one, two, three groups, and there's four in each group. Well, four plus four is eight, plus four more is 12. So three groups with four in each is 12. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do the next one. It says four groups of three. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four groups. And there's going to be one, two, three in each one. Okay. So one, two, three, four groups. There's three in each one. Three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12, okay? And one, two, three, four groups of three in each one, and three times four is 12, so four times three is also 12, okay? You guys are gonna go ahead and do number four. We are going to go ahead and write, we're gonna complete, the addition problem and then write a multiplication sentence. So seven plus seven plus seven. Well, we know that there, one of those numbers is gonna be seven. And we know that there are one, two, three sets of seven. So seven times three, okay? Well, seven plus seven is 21 plus seven more, or sorry, seven plus seven is 14 plus seven is 21. Okay, so that means that seven times three is 21, okay? I want you guys to do number six, three plus three plus three. And then there's, it tells you what one of the numbers is going to be and then how many of those numbers goes in the other one, okay? All right, there are six jars of pickles in a box. Ed has three boxes of pickles. How many jars does he have? Well, there's six jars in each box and he has three boxes. And six times three is 18. Now, each day, Jenny rides her bike five miles. How many miles does Jenny ride her bike? Four days. So, five miles for four days. Five times four. Well, we're just going to count by five four times. So, five, 10, 15, 20. And it's already labeled for you. How nice. Okay, we're going to go into the back where you guys are going to go ahead and do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do this farm review. Okay? So, it says, a school gave 884 pencils to students on the first day of school. What is 884 rounded to the nearest hundred? So, 884, we need to round it to the nearest hundred. That means that we need to look at the next number. If it's five or bigger, then it bumps it up to a nine. If it's smaller than five, then it stays an eight. Eight is bigger than five, so it's going to be 900. Okay, find the difference. So all we're gonna do is subtract. Well, two can't take away four and we never, ever, ever subtract up. So I'm gonna go next door and I'm gonna make that three into a two, which makes this two into a 12. So 12 minus four is eight. Two cannot take away seven. So I'm gonna go next door. That is now a five. And then 12 take away seven is five. And five minus two is three. The line plot below shows how many points Trevor scored in 20 games. Okay. How many games did Trevor score at least 18 points? So we need to know how many X's are in that box. 18 and above. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 games. All right. Darian read 97 pages last week. Evan read 84 pages last week. How many pages did the boys read? 97 plus 84. Okay. We're going to go. 7 plus 4 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 8 is 18. So 181 pages. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 3.2. Come on, back for 3.3. See you soon.